Hello students, welcome to Sorosil's classes. In this video, I will be solving a question from ISS 2017, paper 3, paper 3, section A. Now, in this question, we have that for simple random sampling without replacement, that is, when a sample is selected, or when a unit is selected from a population that unit does not return back to the population before the second drawing so in case of simple random sampling without replacement with population size of capital N and sample size of small n so population size is capital N and sample size is small n we have to show that the sample proportion P is the unbiased estimate for the population proportion capital P and also we have to derive the sampling variance of this estimator now let us consider a qualitative characteristics a qualitative qualitative characteristic based on which the population can be divided the population can be divided into two mutually exclusive classes population can be divided into two mutually exclusive classes C and C star such that if that characteristic is present in that unit then it he will belong that unit will belong to class C otherwise that unit will belong to class C star so so if the characteristic is present characteristic is present then the unit will belong to C otherwise to C star so now suppose that A B the number of units in C A B the number of units in C now since the total population size is capital N therefore N minus A will be the number of units in C star and the proportion of units in C proportion of units in C let us denote it by capital P this is equals to capital A by N so our P is equals to capital A by N and proportion of units in C star proportion of unit in C star that is denoted by Q so our Q is equals to N minus A by N which is equals to 1 minus P now let us suppose we define an indicator variable Y so Yi is equals to 1 if ith unit ith unit belongs to C and it is equals to 0 if ith unit it belongs to C star where our I it would run from 1 to so on till capital N so this Yi it is an indicator variable which would take 
the value 1 if the ith unit it belongs to C and 0 if it belongs to C star. Then this y total or summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi this is equals to A. And the population mean population mean or y bar it would be equals to summation i runs from 1 to capital N y i divided by n which is equals to a by n which is equals to p so the population mean is equals to p now let us suppose we have taken a sample of as I said size n which is given in the question so we have a sample of size n drawn from the drawn from the population of size capital N now here let a be the number of units number of units which fall into class C which belongs to or fall into class C so we would have n minus a number of units number of units that would belong to class C star so here we would have the sample proportion of units in C so sample proportion of units in C it would be P which is equals to small a by small n so P is equals to small a by small n now this suppose this small y i this is a variable which is equals to 1 if this ith unit it belongs to c and it is equals to 0 if the ith unit it belongs to c star where this i it runs from 1 to small n therefore just like before we would have summation i runs from 1 to small n y i this would be equals to this would be equals to small a therefore y bar which is the sample mean which is our sample mean sample mean y bar it would be equals to summation i runs from 1 to small n y i divided by small n which is equals to small a by n which is equals to p so our sample mean is equals to p and since we have since yi is e takes the value either 1 or 0 so if, therefore we would have summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi square it would be equals to summation i runs from 1 to N yi which is equals to A or NP so we have our summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi square is equals to NP so we would have our capital S square is equals to 1 by capital N minus 1 summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi minus y bar whole square so which is equals to 1 by capital N minus 1 summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi square minus n into y bar square so this is equals to 1 by capital N minus 1 now as I said summation i runs from 1 to capital N yi square it is equals to capital 
N P. So capital N P minus N into now Y bar is equals to P. So from here we would get N P minus N P square, which is equals to taking N as common, we would get N divided by N minus one into P into one minus P. Or which is equals to capital N divided by capital N minus 1 capital P into capital Q so our S square is equals to capital N divided by capital N minus 1 P Q now we know that for simple random sampling without replacement that is for simple random sampling without replacement we have the sample mean that is y bar as unbiased estimation unbiased estimator of the population mean that is capital y bar so this sample mean denoted by small y bar it is the unbiased estimator of capital Y bar which is the population mean population mean so we would have our expectation of P which is equals to expectation of Y bar it is equals to capital Y bar which is equals to capital B so this implies the expectation of P is equals to capital P or the sample proportion P is the unbiased estimator for population proportion capital P that is sample proportion P is the unbiased It is the unbiased estimator for population proportion population proportion capital P also for simple random sampling without replacement we have variance of Y bar as capital N minus small n divided by capital N into small n into capital S square so we have our variance of y bar as this now y bar is equals to small p so we get our variance of small p is equals to capital N minus small n divided by capital N into small n now here our s square is equals to capital N divided by capital N minus 1 into capital PQ so substituting this value we get capital N divided by capital N minus 1 into capital P into Q where this Q is equals to 1 minus P so we would have our variance of P is equals to capital N minus small n divided by capital N minus 1 into PQ divided by small n so this is the variance of this estimator small p so variance of p is equals to capital n minus small n divided by capital n minus 1 into pq divided by small n